Christina has fractured relationships with her mom, Dawn, and her sister, Alicia. I don't think it's my fault. I haven't done anything wrong. I have no idea why they would have an issue with me. The first and only time that I met Alicia was when I was helping Christina move out of her ex-boyfriend's house. It was a short interaction, brief, and seemed pretty positive. Finally, Dawn came to visit after two years for my daughter's birthday. And Christine told her mother to please be a little more considerate of our time. Dawn said, you are ruining my vacation. I told her she needed to get out. She then jumped up with the baby in my arms and chest bumped me like a man in a bar and said, I'll beat both your asses. The police, they charged her with trespassing. She was not allowed to come back. I can take it if they don't like me as a person, but it's affecting Christina and my daughter. Those are the two most important things about me. When they're hurt, I'm hurt. I think that Christina is very amazing and she holds our life and our family together. We complement each other in a way that very few people do. From what Christina tells me, she loves our life now. She cherishes every minute of it. I never want to be the reason that Christina ever looks back and regrets anything. I want to marry Christina as soon as possible. She wants her family there, but right now that seems impossible. First, I'll ask you, since everybody else has had an opportunity to, to have the floor and speak, is there anything that you've heard so far that just jumps out at you that you feel the need to respond to? Yeah, just a really disillusioned woman that I feel sad for. I really feel sad for you. You're the one that's alienated her from everyone who loves her so that she could feel that you, you, I've you, al her? you alienated her from How her whole family her? by having abrupt disputes with us. You, you disputes had, with you? You when? had me when you came, Hold on, when you came to my house and we had a meal, when you came down for a wedding two days before my daughter was born and we had a meal together, when you were there the day before, when I stopped, when I put a business that we're growing from for my future wife and my daughter, a business that I'm growing, when I stopped our life, to, to let you come into our house, into our home, to make time for you to come down here because that's when you picked you two gave years me later. Two days. When you left, you wouldn't even eight make hours eye before contact she had a with me the whole May, time. I'm in contact. I have no problem the looking at you. The problem is, I'm sorry. You, for you saw me when I came there to visit your family. You walked you in my family. the door you your and daughter. you said, I haven't got time for this. Why did you keep walking you are away? Insane. Why can't you look because at me? Because you're trying to instigate a fight. You're 53 years yeah. old, and you said, I'm and I quote, to, I'm going to kick talk like Troy's a... ass. You screamed that out front of my house in a residential neighborhood. I okay, did not. You, think, you say you think she's delusional. You, you believe she's distorting what happened? You believe that she's distorting reality. You no, think not she's distorting. She is a she, she lives in her head a different life than what goes on the planet. 